In this video, I am going to discuss the theory of uh, Bernoulli distributions. So, uh, Bernoulli distribution is a type of uh, distribution uh, in which uh, in which the random experiment has only two possible outcomes. So, it deals with uh, a kind of random experiments where we have only two outcomes. Uh, like in the case of tossing a coin, we have only two outcomes, right? Head and tail, right? Um, so, that kind of experiments are associated with a certain kind of probability distribution known as Bernoulli distribution. Um, so, we could have success or failure or event or non-event which is of interest to uh, most data scientists and analytics people uh, or ones and zero in a numerical form. right? So, all the time we will have two, uh, two outcomes. Okay? So, we define Bernoulli trial as a set of these uh, random experiments. Uh, so, each one of these random experiment has, uh, uh, has a outcome. So, um, each outcome is associated with uh, one random variable. So, um, the Bernoulli trial is a set of random variable x1, x2, x uh, up to xn, where uh, n is the number of trials. Or number of experiment associated uh, with this particular trial. Okay, so um, how do we uh, define the probability distribution? Well, the probability distribution is defined like this. Um, it is it takes a probability of one minus p in the case of the outcome is zero and p if it takes the outcome of uh, one, right? Because we have only two uh, outcomes. So, the probability of, uh, say for example, the probability of happening, um, getting a head in a toss experiment is 0.5. Um, the uh, probability of getting tail is of course uh, 1 minus 0.5, which is again 0.5. But uh, in some certain cases, we probably have um, non-equal uh, probabilities as well. So, P could be uh, anywhere between 0 uh, and 1 and may not be 0.5 all the time. So, here is an example where the PDF of typical uh, uh, Bernoulli distribution is given. So, the first one is P is 0.5, uh, wherein you can see that uh, uh, we have two outcomes 0 and 1 and we have equal probabilities, right. But the P value could change uh, and here the P value is 0 0.8. So, the probability of getting a 0 is 0 0.2 uh, and that of getting a 1 is 0.2. Uh, 8, right? So, p-value is 0 0.8 that is associated with uh, x equal to 1. So, the natural, uh, naturally the second uh, or the probability associated with 0 is uh, 1 minus 0 0.8 that is 0 0.2, right? So, and it, it can uh, vary. So, the only parameter in a Bernoulli distribution is the p-values or the probability of, uh, you know, um, getting success or you know having an event okay so this is the only parameter here if you generalize the uh, probability density function it's going to be something like this you, you don't have to write like conditional basis we just have to write it in this way so uh, p takes a value of x so x small x is the number of you know successes where theta is the uh, probability so that's just another uh, notation Okay, and x is the number of successes or number of uh, events happening. So, one of the example of, of Bernoulli distribution which is used in a real life real time scenario is um, cases where we uh, you know model data from a dichotomous or a binary populations. Right? Uh, for example, in the case of uh, credit scorecard development, uh, we sample uh, data from uh, a population wherein we get two types of uh, pop, uh, sample data or two types of uh, um, uh, customers, right? One is uh, good customers or the customer who are paying the loan properly. The uh, other one is the bad customer. So this is also a dichotomous data, data wherein the Bernoulli distribution uh, can be thought to be, uh, you know, very useful. So that's um, about the Bernoulli distribution theory. In the next video, I am going to teach how we simulate data from this distribution using R and SAS.